Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. Democracy is just wonderful, isn't it? Especially when it's used properly. Children up and down the country over the last few days have taken to social media, most notably TikTok, to organise protests and demonstrations against what they see to be draconian, harsh, awful rules implemented by a dictatorial regime that is the local education authority. In some cases, it's against the locking of toilets. In some cases, it's against girls having to wear red or carry red cards for when they're on their period. No, really, I've done videos about this. Well, there's a fresh spate today and people are not happy. And the children today are complaining that there's gender neutral PE kits and that women and girls are being banned from wearing skirts. Let's look at this article. So the latest uh, demonstration is in Banbury in Oxfordshire, uh, where TikTok riot forces school to abandon plans to enforce new rules on gender neutral PE kit and a ban on skirts after pupils staged a protest. Well done you. It goes to show the power of protest. They were trying to implement this rule without any mandate and the pupils said no and the school backed down. And it's about time this happened. They've been forcing gender neutral onto schools, onto school children for a long time now, a year, 18 months, two years, something like that. And finally the kids have had enough and they're saying, no, we do not identify as gender neutral. We are boys, we are girls. And they have protested and they've used TikTok to uh, organize it and they've won. And it goes to show the power of peaceful protest and organized rebellion. So here we go. A so-called TikTok riot has forced a school to scrap plans to enforce new rules on a gender neutral PE kit and a ban on its girls wearing skirts. Uh, police were called to the Warren School in Banbury in Oxfordshire uh, to break up the disturbance and the school was forced to close for the day after students rebelled against the rules. The school has since backed down saying it had reversed its decision to enforce a gender neutral uniform policy. The Warrener School said there will be no changes without further consultation involving the whole school community. And that's the important thing. Change is acceptable if change is warranted and change is driven by the majority. When you are imposing change without any kind of mandate, without any kind of agreement, then people will naturally get very, very against it. Uh, and in this case, they will protest and they've done ever so well, and I, I congratulate and salute these children. Uh, on the school's website, Dr. Annabel Kay, the executive head teacher, apologised for underestimating the strength of feeling on this issue. Well, she wouldn't have underestimated it if she'd have asked rather than just imposed, and there's a difference. Uh, she said she was not properly engaging or consulting with all parents and students, but they don't, do they? The Marxists that run the schools only uh, discuss these things amongst themselves and then impose it in a dictatorial manner. They do not ever ask permission. They just say do and you must obey. Uh, but this time the children did not obey and it is wonderful, wonderful to behold. She added, we fully respect the rights of students to protest and we want to hear the voices of young people in a safe and constructive manner. Our intention was and remains the case to be inclusive, supporting and empowering all our students equally and with respect. In that case, let's be inclusive of the ones who don't want to be gender neutral. Let's be inclusive of the ones who want to wear female clothes. Let's be inclusive of the ones who want to identify as male. And let's be inclusive of those who don't want to share toilets with mentally ill students. So they don't want that though, do they? Uh, they'll continue to push this, but the students need to resist, permanently resist. Uh, we have listened to our students and we have, are committed to engaging further on our uniform policy. So they're gonna push it again. And on other future policy changes with both parents and students in a constructive and positive manner. Um, they're only saying that now because they've lost face. Uh, staff sparked the row after sending a letter home to parents informing them that from September all pupils would be required to wear black tailored trousers and a gender neutral physical education kit. Female students would be banned from wearing skirts to school from September and during summer months all students would be made to wear knee length black shorts. Made to. Made to. Fascism. Absolute 
fascism. You don't impose anything like this. There must always be choice. Why would you impose it? If you're going to be inclusive, what if someone's embarrassed about their legs? Will you be inclusive and allow them to wear long trousers in the summer? What if a girl does not wish to wear gender neutral clothes? Will you be inclusive and allow her to wear a skirt? Because if you're not, then you're not being inclusive. And if you are being inclusive, then you don't need to bring these rules in. So it's catch-22. But this is, a, this is typical of Marxist policy. It's imposition. It's not um, agreement. It's imposition without thought. Because they, they lack the intelligence to think. Uh, anyway, in the letter, assistant head teacher Lottie Keys, great name, said the reason behind the decision was to promote inclusivity, inclusivity and further support and empower our students with our values and equality and respect. Well, you're not respecting these girls, are you? You're not respecting anyone who wants to wear a dress. You're not respecting boys who don't want to wear short trousers. There's no respect there. And you didn't respect them enough to ask their opinions. So this respect, it seems to be rather one-sided, doesn't it? It seems to be you respect us and our authority. We don't give a flying fuck about you. But that's how it goes. But that's these schools. Anyway, I've had enough of this. Um, but it is just great news that school backed down. Power to the pupils. And I hope that schools all over the country see what these kids have done and take note and understand the power that people have. We are many. Those in authority are few. And the many will always be the few if the many want to. And these kids wanted to. Well done. Anyway, rounding off, coming up. I think it is marvellous and I hope that a lot more children see what can be done with organised protest. We're not talking about criminal damage. We're not talking about breaking things. We're talking about an en masse walkout Similar to a strike, if you like, just all stand in the, uh, you know, whatever area that you have there. I'd say the playground, really. You don't really have a playground at a high school, but, you know, in the, in the square of there, whatever. And organise yourselves and state your case and refuse to go to lessons until it is addressed. You have the power. The teachers do not have the power. Nobody has the power except you because you are many. Make use of your strengths. And stop this push for gender neutral. Gender neutral toilets, inclusive of this, exclusive of that. Don't dead name, don't misgender. Stop forcing identity politics onto children. The teachers need to do the damn job of actually teaching the subjects they're employed to teach. This is not their job. Keep it out of schools, keep it away from children and let the children learn in a positive environment. Do not force this crap onto them continually. Take the Marxism out of schools. Anyway, thank you very much for listening. I'll stop now. Um, if you like what we've seen here on the channel, please do hit that subscribe button. It'd be very grateful. It makes our voice a little bit louder. Uh, hit the bell for notification of future output. Leave a like, leave a comment and share this video. And until next time, stay safe, stay well, go to your own loos and goodbye. <laughs>